What's up guys? It's me, Bobesh, back with another video. So I'm here with so many books right here. Oh, it's so heavy. Look how much. Oh, <laughs> that is massive. <laughs> That's massive. Mm, look at this. Look at this, guys. It's amazing. Wait, I'll be right. Let me get my watch. I'm back. Okay. 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 So we have tons of books right here. It's all beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at it. So we have one, two, nineteen. We don't. Okay. So you might see here. You might see there's no number eight because I have number eight right here. Because you might see there's no number eight because I have number eight right here because I'm gonna review this right now. So there's tons of books right here. So first one to seven <laughs> that I have read. Let me say that. Uh, Slappy Birthday to You, Attack of the Jack. I am Slappy's evil twin. Please do not fear the Rito. Uh, Escape from Shutter Mansion, The Ghost of Slappy, It's Alive, It's Alive. And let's read the rest of them. The Dummy Mr. Mummy. The Dummy Mr. Mummy, Revenge of the Invisible Boy, Diary of a Dummy. They call me the uh, Night Howler, my friend Slappy, uh, Monster Blood is Back, Fifth Grade Zombies, Judy and the Beast, Slappy in Dreamland, Haunting with Stars, Haunting with the Stars, Night of the Squawker, and lastly, fried night. I am excited about. Okay. Bo books, bookies, man, chill, chill. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Have relax, relax, relax. Well, they're just, just not. Stay still. Don't move. Such a troublemakers just tro making trouble right now this is not good stop stay down the block you pee pee thing stay back stay back stay back okay this is not okay oh hell can you chill my guy chill my guy chill my guy Chill, my guy. Chill, my guy. Awesome. Look at that. And then, okay, this. Okay, chill. Okay? You don't, you don't need to worry. Okay? Sit down. Sweethearts are here. Let's just move this back. And all these books are hardcover, except one to six. One to six are paperbacks. All the others are hardcover and amazing books. But let's get into the main possible of the video. Oh, Freddy. Okay. We are here to review The Dummy Meets the Mummy. And boy, this was amazing. It was just like, oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Like that. It was like so beautiful book. Such a... Yes. Almost died. I love it. You have made the best books in the world. Literally, this is one of the best books. <sighs> so let's get let's tell what happens in the video. Okay, okay. So this is amazing. Like so many plot twists. Starting. <sighs> so we start. <coughs> so we st okay. So. We start in part one in Cairo, Egypt. And this guy named, uh, oh, Mr. Richard Clo uh, Clofer, Clofer, Mr. Richard Clofer. <laughs> uh, he is like a, so he is, he's starting to talk to his son, Christopher, about him going to the, 
to Egypt and then go, he's going to go and see Aragonus. Aragonus is like, Aragonus is a mummy that was lived. <laughs> okay, okay. So, I think Aragonus was like killed. Aragonus was about to be cut like a crown prince and he was murdered on the morning of his crowning. <laughs> and then he was mummy. So what happened is, Mr. Uh, so this guy, <laughs> a guy named Mr. Amari comes and um, tells Mr. Copper, don't go there, don't, don't touch the mummy because it's a curse. But Mr. Copper doesn't care and he goes there, t goes to Aragonus sees these sees these words reads the words so it's the words are like like uh sappy's words sappy comes to life if he says the words right let me tell you what the words are maybe i'll get the words okay abasigo modara u modaro la madoros kremen and then uh, that's how the mummy comes to life. Look, I'm so much sneezing. So okay, so and then when the the the, the mummy comes to life after saying the words, uh, the mummy Aragonus starts to hurt Kofer uh, very much. It it like hurt. It's hurting Kofer, uh, Doctor Kofer. And then when when they put the mummy to sleep, uh, uh, when they put the mummy to sleep, they, uh, oh wait. Okay, so uh, he so they tell the words, and the mummy goes back to sleep. Now Mr. Kofer is like in the in the hospital room, like. Like so much bones broken because the Aragon is so strong and broken. So, and then they tell Arag, and then uh, Doctor Culper uh, orders Wortham, uh, his like assistant, to to get Aragonus somewhere like nobody can find him, like just not near him. So that so that's how Aragonus is born, and I like that first part. And guess what? This is the second part, part two. And in and, and part two, we meet Aaron Riggles. Aaron Riggles, uh, so he is a normal kid, Aaron Riggles. And Aaron Riggles is pretty big in the story later on. And I'll tell you why. You Remember Aaron Riggles, the name. Okay. So, Aaron Riggles is in part two. He is... Uh, he's about to have dinner, and he and he brings this dummy over to his house, and this guy, and then they, the these guys are asking what uh, the dad, the kids, I mean the dad and the mom and the sister are asking why, why do you have that dummy? And then, and then, uh, and then uh, this guy named Mandrake the Great, he is like a here and when and when he when Aaron Riggles went outside after the show he wanted to say a nice show and then and then Mandrake gave him the like the thing like the dummy he gave the dummy for because he has too many like stuff and when he got home he showed this to everybody and then his parent gets very mad and scared of his evil grin looking. And then uh, Slappy begins to like throw up, uh, throw up like this stuff, throw up like green goo and everything. And that, that, that gets everybody mad. And then the dad throws him away. But the weird thing is, how does Slappy do that? Slappy cannot do that unless he's awake. But he, but we in this, but they never read the 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 words to, they never read the secret like Oranu, Corono, like that stuff. They did not read it. Then how is he alive and throw him away? You know.
No. So, and then the dad do something and throw them away. And then when they throw them away, we get in part three and the main story. And then we meet Cat Kathy O'Connor. Uh, and she is the daughter of Colin O'Connor. Colin O'Connor is like he's a he's a it's, he's the owner of a of a horror haunted horror museum. And she uh, and then what is it? and then Kathy also has a sister named Shannon and a cousin named Logan. Le Logan and Shannon they're pretty important in the story. So so Kathy. Uh, uh, in uh, next in next week, next week Kathy is going to have her class come over and spend the ho one day, the whole day in the in the in the museum. Uh, so the boys are gonna sleep in the the I think the girls are sleeping in the dinosaur room and the boys are sleeping inside the the in the 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 the, the, the mummy room, or it could be different. So when they, so they've been trying, so Colin, uh, Kathy's dad tr is trying to find a, uh, find a mummy for a long time and they finally found one and guess who it is? A right, <laughs> Why, why did Mr. Culper, well, I was still confused, why did Mr. Culper send it to them? He told the assistant Wortham not to to get a, a send it somewhere. Nobody can have it, and they just sent it to a haunted museum. Why? Okay, it's still good. Okay, and then and then and then when the dummy comes to the door, uh, another knock hap another knocks there, and then they see this dummy, uh, Shannon Logan, uh, uh, Kathy, and the dad or see this dummy, and then they find out the name is Slappy, and everything. And then they read out the words, and nothing happens to the Slappy. And then, uh, then the dad starts like, look like, like, ah, don't scratch it. Okay, so the dad starts like, uh, he says to the kids, decorate this place because they're coming tomorrow night, you know, everything. And when dad goes, uh, they want to, the kids want to see the mummy, you know. The kids want to see the dummy. The mummy, I think. Wait, I want to see... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so the kids say the word. So say these uh, words, did they? Also, they bring the dummy to life, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they bring the dummy to life and they're like, it's alive, it's alive, and guess what? The, the dads are always dumb. And the dad said, Oh, stop kidding around. And everything. Then, then the... And then the dad, and then when the dad's about to leave, the mummy somehow comes to life without saying the words at all. The dummy comes to life. The mummy, I mean. The mummy, and the mummy starts uh, fighting the kids and everybody. And they have to they try to escape, but they can't. The mom is too strong. And then, how do they do it? So they're about to die. Everybody, the ragged starts fighting everybody. When they're fighting, uh, how do they do this? Oh, Shannon read the the words, and then the dummy, the mummy fell down. And then the next day, 
they're, they're scared still. And then the next day, uh, the 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 every the kids are here, and I know and Howard, and then the kids are here and the everything, and the kids are t uh, here to talk about some stuff, and then the kid and then and then they do a scavenger hunt. I'm pretty sure, the scavenger hunt, and then everybody's like still keyed to see the the bunny, but yeah. And then the, in the scavenger hunt, uh, uh, Kathy and Logan take part as well. And, and then they see, and then they see the, the Toby out of his case. And then they're like, "Oh my God, Dad, why did you take him out of the case?" And then because uh, it's going to be funner if, if we do that. But Dad, he's dangerous. And everything. But we put him to sleep. It's okay. To the dummy. So the dad believes the dummy and the mummy are actually like come to life and kill people. So and then and then uh what happens? I forgot I forgot everything. It's been two days since the red finishes. I'm still worried about I not going for you before me. And then we're going to. Okay, I don't know what to do. Wait, Dad, wait a minute. Now be careful with it. And oh, okay, 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 okay. Aaron. Aaron. So the Aaron, same Aaron Riggles from part two, he, the one who had Slappy and the goo came out. He was in the story again because Kathy O'Connor is friend with Aaron and Aaron is coming to the museum as well, the same school. And Aaron's like, get rid of that dummy when he sees it. That it's evil, that dummy is evil. You had this dummy in the house and everything. Yeah. And they're like scared. Like, oh no, why is the dummy there? And then all the kids don't think anything, just Aaron's like scared and scared. And then, and then Ashley, the dummy, the, uh, the Ashley, the dumb kid. I hate Ashley, she cannot just drop some things from other people. Ashley f held the words, said the, the Epsigo, Modaro, Lamados, Kareben uh, words that are to the dumb mummy. And Kathy's like, wait, what are, are those the right words? But like, to the dummy, she thinks the, that that's not the right words to the dummy. And she knew it's the, the words to the mummy. Mummy. The mummy's alive now. Oh, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. A blender. Help me. What is this? What do you mean? Okay. Oh, nothing, nothing. I look egg. Okay, and then they show. Oh, okay, so the, the, the everybody goes to see the mummy, and the mummy starts moving, but no one sees it except Kathy. And when they go back, the mummy starts to come out of this case, and then they start, the kids start to run towards the mummy, because they think the mummy is fake. Somebody's, like, wearing a suit and everything, and they think it's the dad wearing the suit. But they believe that because uh, Logan was, uh, was dressed up like, Logan the cousin was dressed up like a ghost to Chuma, uh, like a little bit of scare them. 
and then they and then they get and then when Mr. Car and then when the dad comes down the stairs, they're like, "What are you doing?" And then they're scared, and then they th they find out their mummy's actually alive, and Raggedus is alive, and then they like, back up everyone. We have to say, and then he's like, they're like all trapped. So they're all trapped. Now the raggedness is about to kill everybody. And then uh and then they can't they can't find the words to put him back to sleep. So now Aaron and uh her have a Aaron and Ka and Kathy have like a amazing idea. They they're going to find the words to Slappy and they're gonna put uh, make a lot of Slappy come to life and beat up the mummy. And then, uh, when they beat up the baby, they go to like uh, read the words and put the baby at the W to sleep. Get it? That's very smart. So they say the words. The baby comes. To, the W comes to life, but a Slappy comes to life. And then uh, Slappy says, "Like I'm not gonna help you or anything." And then, and then a uh, Slappy finally helps them. Uh, beats up the dummy, mummy, I mean, and the mummy dies. When the, okay, and then there's like a thousand ancient in insects, and they're like, uh, like biting him and everything, and. And then, and then when the dummy is like, uh, the mummy is like, like getting bit by the insects. Now the the kid the kid the slappy betrays them and now is like telling and making the bugs go to the 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 kids. The ki so the kids and the mummy are getting bit by the insects. And yeah. And the mummy comes to back, wakes up, uh, get back up, and then, and then what happens? What's happening? They're only taking. Okay, okay, okay. So, and then uh, Shadid uh, loves to tickle people. We I did not mention that she loves to tickle people, and she is tickling the mummy. And the mummy falls down because he was so, it was so funny. He, he can't stop laughing. And then Slappy is still alive. And then what do they do? And they're about to put the mummy to sleep and they find the words. And then they see, they say, Obsigo Modero. Bodos, Doris, Kremen. Wait, and then she says, wait, are those the right words? I love that. It's so funny. That was actually, that was a bad ending. Every book is like a good ending, but nowadays, the bad ending. And I like that. Look at it. So, if you guys don't uh, understand what's happening, uh, so Shadow just tickled the hell out of uh, the mummy. And now the dummy is still there. The mummy it can, did not move, and he's like sleeping now. And now they have to fight the mummy, and they're about to put them to sleep, but they get the wrong paper. Say Absigo, Bodaro, Laboros, Krabbit, and those are the words to wake up the mummy. So they will. They just put the mummy to sleep, and they woke up the mummy again, and there's still a dummy. <laughs> I that was very good. I like this book. I like this so much. It's like, oh yes, yes. This has to be the third best book I ever read. It's just amazing. I don't think ever anything. Yeah. So third best book.
third. Third. Third best book I have ever read. But I'm still thinking, should I make it slap, it slap, slap, uh, slapping the word seven? The first book I, best book I ever read. so hard. Slappy number seven world. Is it the best book I ever read? That is it hot the spirit of the hard mask. I mean, they, it's hard. Hard mask. There's the ghost. There's the ghost hit some. And no, I don't think so. Wait, is it? Okay, I'm thinking, should I? Let's search the book, Bull Dog Bird. Um, so hard. Can I have two favorite one book? One book, number one is two books. Can I do that? I mean, I can, it's my choice. So, I'm saying it's alive, it's alive. And the script is hard to mask. Is it, this, is it number one, number one? Same mode? I can do that, but should I? Do I want to? It's a hard decision. I'm just bleeding. Thinking. Let me think. Yes. No, I mean no. Wait, I don't know. Sli it's a live slide, it's number two. Number one is the screen is on the mask. This book is number three. This guys half you're going to get is nine point ninety three. 9.6. The best book. But Slappy World's doing very good right now. I do not know why. It's doing amazing. I don't know what. I think the night's going to be revenge and everything's going to be good. We still have 11 books to read. <laughs> Okay, okay. Bye. See you guys next time. It's going to be a review week. Revenge of the Invisible Boy. Bye.